and uh, I usually derive a lot uh, of uh, inspiration from the social media world. Um, you know, I get to look at what people like um, Paris Henry is doing, um, like well, the guy in New York City, um, yeah, the Musica Frere. So those are people I usually follow on Instagram. Those are people that I usually look, uh, even uh, Nigeria. Um, those are people that I usually look up to. So many brands out there, uh, you just get to follow, you get to see what they're doing. Because, you know, I feel like those are the people who are pioneers of the fashion industry in the world. So I usually look up to them and uh, I usually try and derive inspiration from them, see how um, they're doing different designs, the latest trend. And yeah, that's what's pushed me through. Smoke my back, smoke my... <coughs> All along, um, since uh, quite a while back, I've been also getting international clients. I've been getting, uh, I've done weddings in America, I've done uh, weddings in Australia, you get clients in Europe, and most of them uh, usually like get to ask you, um, can I get this and this fabric? Because you see like the fabrics that are here and the fabrics that you know um, are in Europe and Australia, it's a little bit hard to get because it's a different market. Them, the fabrics are usually, you know, uh, the weather usually affects the fabric that, you know, you have. So uh, that is one thing I've been thinking about. I want to go international. I want to open uh, branches in uh, different countries. So currently, right now, actually, what I'm working on is I'm um, developing a website, an international website, so that I can be able to attend to my international clients easy. And uh, I want to break into the international market and I know it's gonna be very hard actually because at the end of the day we have so many big brands over there but I believe in my work I believe what I do I believe that I've got the potential to break into there inside that market so that's what I'm working on right now um, currently I'm working on developing a website whereby you know I can be able to tend to my international clients and that is one of my sole focus right now because I feel like in Kenya I've quite established myself Basically, um, in whatever that you want to start, let's say like it's fashion. Um, first of all, make sure when you're venturing into fashion, you're getting into fashion because of the right reasons. Don't do it because someone else is doing. Because at the end of the day, if uh, someone else is the one that's you know making you do it, what happens when they stop? Will you also stop? So you, whatever you're doing, you have to get into that with the right mentality, with the right reasons, so that at the end of the day, we, you can be able to. Um, keep on pushing so i'd advise anyone who wants to start a fashion brand first of all um, after you've identified you know i have an interest in whatever aspect in fashion that you have um, i feel like it's good to establish a mentor because a mentor is someone who can help you really much to push you know to get into the market uh, without so much challenges because they have been there go and talk to those people if you've identified someone that's doing something that you love go and talk to them ask them ah i want to start this what can i do uh, how can i do this if you're in a position if you're in a position um you can you know ask them for a position there even if it's an attachment because at the end of the day it's all about the growth it's all about the skills it's all about the knowledge so for you to be able to be good in something one of the basic things that you have to do is to put yourself out there into that uh, market um, interact with the right people let them tell you this is what you're supposed to do this is what you're not supposed to do because if you don't do that and you decide to start on your uh, uh, from scratch by yourself you're gonna hit so many challenges that you could have uh, avoided if you took the other road My business has grown through referrals. Eh? So, and shout out to everyone who has ever won Mr. Royalty, who is wearing Mr. Royalty. Um, I couldn't have been here without you guys. So, I believe in any business, um, customer satisfaction is one of the most critical and it's most in capital letters because um, a customer will come back depending on how they were, the services they were given, how they were treated, the time that you know it took to get that service, how honest you are. So um, one of the things that I usually don't joke about is my clients. I always try my best to make sure everyone that's walking out through this door uh, walks out with a happy heart because um, 
a happy client will always come back with friends and all that and i've been uh, in instances whereby you know you work with a client and by the time you go three years by the time you go four years with that same client they've brought you like 20 more people so i feel like it's very critical for you to be able to appreciate your clients because if you don't take care of your clients then you won't be taking care of your business